It is eight minutes past eight. First, there was WikiLeaks. Now, there is Becky Leaks. A string of emails allegedly between David Beckham and his advisor suggests the footballer used his charity work to try and receive a knighthood. His spokesman says the emails were hacked, doctored, and released to the media. And there are now allegations of a million pound blackmail attempt on his PR advisors. Well, joining us now are the Daily Mirror's uh, Kevin McGuire and PR agent Mark Bukowski. Good morning, morning to both morning. of you. Uh, we talked with you briefly about this earlier, uh, yeah. Kevin. If we may start with you then, Mark. From a PR perspective, the big question is damage limitation for brand Beckham. Uh, is it all over? I don't know. Where's the story going to go yet? I mean, there's various injunctions still out on newspapers. So one doesn't know how far this goes. But Beck I, I, I looked at the analytics on social media, and let's face it, he's a social media phenomenon, so is all his family. And there's only a sort of 10% drop globally in his brand because we forget this is a very nasty story locally, but internationally, particularly in the Far East, he's, he's, he's treasured. Uh, yeah, except the emails, Kevin suggests that he rants about not being given a knighthood yeah. for the charity work and the allegation is he did the charity work in order to get the knighthood which doesn't make him look as sort of selfless and charitable as we all assume that he is no it makes him not he's not selfless he was selfish and the halo was slipped uh, i don't think it can go back on because we've seen behind the ruthless PR to pre uh, present Brand Beckham as something too good to be true, almost as if he's come out of a Disney film. Mm -hmm. And all he's concerned about is the world and it's not himself, when in fact he's been pushing his business interests and he's been desperate for a knighthood, undertaking charity work, it looks like, to get that knighthood. I think he can kiss goodbye at the gong now. He's never going, going to get it. And some people might say, well, he was still doing good work. That's true, but the motivation was very, very selfish on his part. And he's also unfairly critical of others who get honours. So he's, he's not a particularly nice guy when you read those emails. In these emails. But these emails were, were hacked and they were stolen and released, Mark. And, and Maggie's got in touch with us on Twitter. Says, Irrespective of the content of these emails, he's a great ambassador to sport. He's a key figure in securing London 2012. And people still have a huge fondness and affection for him. They do. And I think he has done a lot of work. And the nuancing in email and text is, is dreadful. Listen, I'm no apologist for, for David Beckham. And I, I mean, clearly, I think Kevin is right here you can you can say goodbye to a gong but that was probably never going to come for some of the other allegations that suggested this we don't know how deep this goes we don't know what he's been saying to his advisors but we all have mad moments you know i mean i've sent some appalling emails in my day which i've seemed to regret but you know they're on record it's a feeding frenzy for the media it will remain a feeding frenzy for the media front page of the mirror today run across all the other tabloids so if you were advising them what's the first thing you do well I, yeah, the the, be the well the, the in every crisis there is an opportunity i mean so now his pr advisors will actually be tested can they rebuild something out of this and that's what's going on but well, they're it's, using words like you know that th these were doctored these hacked emails taken and out taken out of context. I'm sure they'll take out of context. Whether they're adopted or not, I don't know. Um, but the, the bottom line is there's a huge amount of followers and fans on mm -hmm. Facebook and social media. He has 33 million you know, people who are connecting to him on Instagram. He can tell his story in pictures. He's got his wife, he's got his kids, you know, it's not, it's not easy and to pull him over. It's about controlling the narrative, Kevin. And, and if, as Mark says, he has that network and that power, but actually, regardless of what this is, and if they, if they, the story comes out that they were hacked and they mm. tried to blackmail him, as your mm -hmm. paper suggests, for a people million are pounds, defend him. people are going to say, you know, what are we going to do? And and I think it was one of the sons put the picture of him cuddling Harper just last night. Yeah, I mean, that's the power that they have. Yeah, Brand Beckham is a dynasty, and they use the children almost to enrich themselves and as as human shields at a time like this. I thought it was a despicable exploitation of his youngest child putting that picture out there because he's, just because he's afraid his daughter though Kevin yeah. he, this, why this is why you have to this why would be look at it so cynically he is afraid of what else is going to come out in those emails we've just scratched the surface here of brand beckham being tarnished and his pr advisors want it both ways on the one hand they say these emails have been doctored not in, uh, uh, not in context and then on the other hand they say well he's just an ordinary guy letting off steam and of course he was disappointed therefore given credibility to those emails that's the problem his pr people have got now because you, you cannot you can you cannot unsay what's been said 
We cannot unknow what we now know. They're out there in public now. You can get as many injunctions to stop yeah. us discussing it on TV, radio, in the papers in, in Britain, but they will appear on websites people will be able to look at. You're at complete odds with one of your own editors at the Mirror, Peter yep. Willis, who yep. set up the Pride of Britain Awards. Mm -hmm who argues in the paper that David Beckham, whenever he goes to those awards, is one of the most generous with his time. He has a genuine interest in the causes that are being supported. He's not one of those celebrities who goes along and leaves as soon as the cameras stop taking photographs. There are a lot of people who want to believe they do. in brand Beckham. They do. And they want to believe that the... Be mm -hmm. You know, and they genuinely mm -hmm. love the image yep. of David. They don't. They think that hacked emails mm -hmm. are disgusting, mm -hmm. blackmail yep. plots are revolting. Why not let this family earn mm -hmm. their dues out of the work they've done? Yeah, we have we have many voices on the on the mirror, and you, can, you know, I acknowledge he's done some good work. I'm not denying that whatsoever. But what is now questioned is some of his motivations, because we know he was desperate for that knighthood, and the tax people, HMRC flagged up concerns about his tax arrangements. He is an incredibly wealthy man. He's done really well in life. Those taxes, if you pay them, they go to education, they go to health, they go to caring. They even fund UNICEF, an organisation he's done a lot of work with, and then we see he's objecting to putting his own money into. Okay. So, come on, he, you know, David Beckham, he's done good work, but he's not as nice as we've been sold by any means. Yeah, well, Kevin, Mark. Time will tell. Um, Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you very much indeed.